Welcome to French Creek State Park here in Alverson, Pennsylvania. Um, my son and I are going on a weekend camping trip. We're gonna take you along with us. We're gonna show you how we set up our gear. We're gonna show you the hike we did. We're gonna show you um, some of the snacks we cooked over the fire. So come along with us and see what camping with us is like. Fun fact here, we have had this tent for 18 years which is kind of crazy. So my husband and I bought this at the L.L. Bean store in Freeport, Maine before we even had kids. And this tent has served us so well. We have used it so many times. It's still in great shape. No leaks, no nothing like that. Um, so good quality gear will really last you a long time. So this is what the inside of our tent looks like. Since it's just two of us this weekend, we brought the double air mattress to make it a little bit more comfortable. So once we were done setting up our tent and kind of unpacking a little bit at our campsite, we decided to go down to Hopewell Lake and do a hike around there. When we got there, we saw the cutest little baby geese. We're just walking on this lakeside trail here. Um, we've got some rain moving in, so we're just doing a short little hike around the lake, um, just checking some things out. So. There's a lot of lily pads out on Hopewell Lake, and you can see that some of them have small flowers. I remember that too. Water is really clear here. So my son and I have really been looking forward to this trip. Um, we had originally planned that all four of us would go camping. But my daughter had um, some plans she didn't want to miss this weekend, so my husband said he'd stay home with her and just my son and I would go camping. So I, I really love it when all four of us are together, but it's also really awesome when I can spend one-on-one -on -one time with like one of my kids. Um, my daughter and I took a trip out to State College area and it was just her and I and that was really nice. So now my son and I are doing the camping trip at French Creek. As you can see, everything, we're at the point um, in Pennsylvania, we're mid-May right now and everything is green. All the trees are filled in. One thing that I really love about um, hiking this time of year is that the bugs aren't really out yet. So you kind of have that little break um, before the hot weather gets here and before you're dealing with mosquitoes and that type of thing. So this is a nice little uh, calm before you gotta be coating yourself with the bug spray to fend off the mosquitoes. So we finished up our hike and headed back to the campsite. I'm going to show you a little bit about what it looked like before we set up our tent. French Creek State Park campground map. So the campground opens in early March and closes in January and then additional loops might open in late spring and close in October. So before when I've camped here my preferred loop is D and I like D because you're pretty much surrounded by woods on you know this side but in this situation, D was closed right now. I think they're doing some work on it. Um, so we stayed in B. Now this is a good option if you don't have pets. Um, C is pet friendly. And then it also says that loop A is pet friendly. So for us, uh, if we don't have a dog with us, we would want something maybe a little bit quieter. So that's why we chose loop B. And we were in site 15 here. So like I said, you are not going to have a ton of space. You're, you're pretty crammed in there with people, but you know, this is one of the only state park campgrounds in this part of Pennsylvania. Like this is our closest uh, state park campground. So for us, we're just so happy it's here. So you can see some sites have electric, some have a full hookup. Um, we chose a non-electric site. 
<clears throat> excuse me. Um, they've got camping cottages and yurts. And then in the middle of every loop is your shower house. So um, pretty nice and some playgrounds and some different features like that. So if you do camp here, um, just be aware that the sites are fairly close together, um, especially in this B loop. So just something to keep in mind um, if you're looking for like total isolation and privacy, this campground isn't gonna be for you. Um, you're pretty close to people, but everybody is super friendly and respectful of the quiet hours and you'll have a good time here. There are showers and bathhouses in the middle of the loop. So you don't have to use outhouses here. Exactly. We really like this little, it's um, a Coleman portable camping stove and I'll show it to you when it's cooled off when I'm done using it, but it folds up really tiny like a clamshell and I like that it's double burner and really compact. It fits in this um, camping tote here where we keep all our camping gear. So we've got some brown rice, some salsa chicken and some red pepper strips just for a little bit of dinner here. All right, so uh, can't be a camping trip without marshmallows. So we got some of these Jet Puff kinds, but then I also saw these. Um, Jet Puff makes a llama and cactus shaped marshmallows and they're in different flavors. So I thought we would give these a try. I don't know, they kind of look good, but then they also kind of look disgusting. These are what they look like. So I guess that's supposed to be a cactus. Uh, maybe that's a llama. Is that all the flavors, buddy? Yes. All right, so get one out for me, each kind, and then we will try these, and we will see what we think. Okay, all right, ready? Ooh. Oh. Wow, that's, oh, just lemony. Okay, I only took a little bite. I really don't want to take another. <laughs> I'm going to try, I guess this would be strawberry, or what? Oh, strawberry, strawberry flavor, okay. All right, that one was better. I think, think that I, one was worse. I think that one was worse. Okay, let's try lime. Oof. Like a really strong, like lime jello flavor. And then this would be the orange. Orange, okay. Um, that's not that bad. So I think the strawberry and orange aren't that bad, but the lemon and lime are kind of gross. I <laughs> What do you think? I think that the lemon and lime are probably the best. So these are what they look like, and I think these are going to be a one-time purchase. All right, so we saw this. You take a Rice Krispie treat, and you toast it over the fire. I think this is going to be good. I don't know. What do you think? Oh, actually, it looks good. All right, let's... All right, so that's what it looks like when it's done. Nice and gooey. Mmm. Oh, that's good. good. For the rest of the night, we just kind of sat around the campfire, made some s'mores, chatted. A really nice thing we did this time was we had some small, like, battery-operated lights that I usually keep in the house. And we brought these along. My son put them on the tent, so that was a nice addition. And then we went to bed and called it a night. So the birds woke us up early in the morning. So many beautiful bird calls. We used Merlin to identify what we were hearing. Hey guys, so we had a really nice night of camping. We sat around the campfire, um, roasted some different treats and things. Like I mentioned when I cooked dinner last night, I love this stove because of its clamshell shape and how portable it is. Super easy to use. So I'm going to get um, water boiling on one side and then get our bacon going on the other. And now our breakfast is made. Got my tea that I boiled the water on the stove, some eggs and bacon. All right, so this is my reminder to you. If you cook, if you camp, if you spend time in state parks, please, please bring bags. Please clean up your trash. Um, leave things better than you found it. So that's what we did here. We just 
cleaned everything up from our breakfast, put our trash in bags in the car, because there are no trash cans nearby. And you can never tell that we were here. people fishing out here this morning it's nice and quiet I have a really beautiful spot to sit and drink my tea so um, if you've never tried camping I really encourage you um, give it a try try it for one night and I think you'll be surprised at just how relaxing it is like there is seriously no better sound than to wake up and just you wake up in the tent, your eyes open, and you just hear all the bird song. It's it's amazing. It's one of my favorite things. Or in the middle of the night when it starts to rain and you hear the pitter patter of rain on the tent, or you have to get up in the middle of the night to go to the bathroom. Okay, maybe that doesn't sound too fun, um, but you get up and you look up at the sky and it's just filled with stars. Um, so it's just a, it's a really peaceful experience, and I always leave camping feeling great. Um, even my son, you know, he's sneezing a little bit, his allergies have flared up, but he still said like, mom, I had a lot of fun. So thanks so much for watching our camping trip to French Creek State Park. Um, we appreciate when you watch, when you like, when you leave a comment, um, really means a lot to us. And we're so happy to have such a, a group of awesome supporters watching our channel and following along. Have a great day, guys. Bye.